wasn't any goaltenders. Life would be a lot easier if there was no stress. But neither of these situations is realistic, so let's throw the whole darn thing out. The question for you is, how well do you adapt to the stressful situations in your life? This is a relevant topic because the longer a person has been holding their chiropractic adjustments, the number one thing to cause them to lose their adjustment is emotional stress. So, how well do you deal with stress? Do you try to, do you absorb it? Do you accept it? And just say, oh, this is my lot. This is my lot in life. Do you try to resist it with your own willpower, with teeth gritting? Or you, do you deflect it? Do you redirect it? What you just saw behind me was an example of what's called a one-timer or a redirection in hockey. And this is when one teammate passes the puck across the sheet of ice to the other teammate and hits it really quick in an opposite direction so the goaltender doesn't even expect it. He doesn't have a chance to make it across to the other side of the crease. So sometimes we have to deflect or redirect stressful situations. And here's an example. The next time that somebody says something rude to you, instead of fighting back, why not try to be extra nice to them? Sometimes, a lot of times, maybe even most of the time, that will actually disarm them. You'll catch them by surprise. Yeah, what am I, what am I so mad about in the first place? What, what are we even talking about? What are we even arguing about? try it and the next time that you're already really really busy and someone asks you to do another thing why not say no why not deflect that and just not even deal with it no or yeah but let me do that later on procrastinate a little bit procrastination is not necessarily a bad thing why not ask for help why not try to delegate a little bit It'll also be helpful to remember that most of our problems, most of the things that cause us to be stressed out are things that are really not worth being stressed out about. And that over the long term, you look back and you realize that it's through these sort of fiery trials that we develop our own character. If we persevere, if, we're, if we go through it. And as a result, we're even more patient. And patience brings peace. Remember, focus on creating peace. 